Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Market Misfits. We're going to be taking a look at XRP today. Just real quick, none of this is financial advice. We're just going to be looking at some perspectives here. I was looking at Twitter, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is, a, this is a really popular analysis right here. And he's got a different outlook, what's going on with XRP. So we're going to be going over this mainly today and looking at the XRP. We looked at the scenario before, <clears throat> excuse me this possible scenario before but you know seeing someone else that's seeing i i couldn't find out what this how he had this laid out but we're going to go back and reflect on our view of this i like this because you know who that who, who wouldn't like it seems like the let's take a look real fast this is e greg crypto so he's a prominent analyst on twitter so He's seeing a drop, a possible drop on XRP. He's looking at the monthly on Binance, and I looked at it. I couldn't replicate it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to take a look. Look like he might have the chart upside down. <clears throat> so anyways, he's seeing a resemblance in what's happening here and thinking that we could break through, but let's take a look over here. I, anyways, I like this perspective because looking at this this way, and we got to the monthly on XRP, and we're looking at the Bitstamp chart. So we took all the moving averages and everything off of here. Just keeping in mind, to the perspective that we had on Bitcoin on a macro view. You know, again, looking at large time scales, looking at Bitcoin. I'm gonna reflect back on this. So looking at this let's go to the weekly i previously posted on twitter this ascending broadening cone that was on bitcoin but let's just take all this off here and let's take a look and see why i might consider this once again we did a video on this just looking at previous runs this stuff's near vertical the law of diminishing returns of course plays a part in this so the more money that comes into a market the harder it's going to be to make these types of yeah i remember when this stuff was happening there wasn't that much money in crypto so it wasn't real hard to move the market and plus the more that regulations and stuff come in you know the more the less gradual i think that we would see these runs become you know of course when it first when it, it's first boom, you know, we're going straight up right here. So I'm also keeping this in mind. I've seen Bitcoin kind of round out and then go up. But, and then right here, this last run, this is not as big. So is it possible that we are not going to see an all-time high as soon as we think? Or are we going to see a drop? Just looking at this real fast, let's zoom in. I'm just going to mark this support over here. Whoops, pull this over. It's gonna mark this support, it's major support. Right here. And then, so what I'm looking for, I'm doing supports. Again, this is just my personal preference. This is the way I'm used to doing it. I'm trying to get as many candle bodies as possible, but I'm also trying to have wicks connect too while trying to make this as small as an area as possible just so you know this is a monthly chart so just trying to come into a more definitive you know we brought have we broke a zone but anyway so we have can we have wicks here instant candle bodies trying to get the most touches we have this rejection right here we've got these so just looking at that looking at this previous run and looking at this it's like we're going instead of going instead of going up like straight up you see here we go straight up just about and we're over here and we're just going kind of sideways so let me uh, put a channel up because this looks like a channel to me again you know keep it in mind too that we might not see the parabolic moves that we used to or who knows we might 
if the floodgates of liquidity are open from a Bitcoin ETF, it's going to be interesting to see if we are priming up for a sell-off or if we're going to take off from this type of structure that we're seeing here. We have seen an ascending channel take off on a large time scale on XRP. I just want to reflect back over here real quick and look at this. To me, this is a channel on a large time scale. We're reaching the top up here. This was a stop hunt, false breakout. So, and looking over here at this, well, there's no pullbacks. So, looking at this, considering the trend, before we go over to XRP, considering this like this, whoops, get that out of there. So, just kind of looking at this, pull this, let me pull this down, I have some internet interference. But, uh, so, this is looking kind of bearish still, even though we have climbed up and we're reaching near, I mean, we've double over doubled what we were down here. So, we've almost tripled, nearly tripled the price. So, let's go back to XRP. So, basically, are we going to, are we gearing up for a, and also one other factor that's making me seem more like I, I feel more like there's a chance that we'll see a drop like this is that everyone's way too bullish right now. You know, we haven't gotten any approvals yet for the ETF, for the Bitcoin spot ETF application. So, you know, how long is it, how long are we going to continue to rise on speculation? And if one does get passed, is, is this going to be a type of sell the news type deal? Maybe we see a drop when the news comes out and when it starts being utilized, maybe we see a climb after that. So if we resume tr the tr previous trend, that would be at $8,500, around $8,500, $8,700 Bitcoin. Let's take a look back at XRP. And again, here we have, we have a similar... We have that similar rising channel. Here. So, just keeping in mind this, I was looking at that and saw that tweet from eGrad and I was like, well, okay, I'm seeing not the same thing, but seeing something similar. So, are we going to come down and see First off, are we going to make it back up here to 92 cents? There was also a price glitch on, I forget which uh, which platform it was, a few days ago for XRP, for 89 cent XRP. You know, if we fail to reach here and we break down below 50 again from this point, this looks like a rising consolidation to me. You know, obvious uptrend. This is when we were stalled out from lawsuit so we're also still in this resistance type area right here like we barely pushed above these closings here on the weekly let's take a look at the monthly and it still just looks like a rising channel but um, so we still haven't closed we closed this month, but then we boom, shot down. You know, we had last month, we had a strong rejection showing up here. It was basically like a gravestone doji. So it's showing strong rejection as we're hitting these resistance levels here at around 62 cents and at around 70 cents, 62 to 70 cents. Seeing strong rejections, we had to open and close, we had a close here and then an open and close strong down. So we're, we're trending up, but we're not trending up. Like we're not seeing any great impulses. Like we're not breaking out of the structure and seeing impulses. We haven't seen any of that. And in retrospect, when looking at the Bitcoin chart, we're not seeing that really either. You're seeing this gradual movement kind of sideways and it's making me wonder, you know, in the media, which you, you know, how 
you just gotta really be careful because when you start hearing friends and family that aren't into trading or crypto and you think you're seeing it on the news which we have then that's like that's a major bearish indicator because by the time the general public hears about stuff then that's usually like a big red warning flag I'm just wondering if all this isn't set up to you know for us to get it quick what if we get a what if we get a denial of an ETF or what if we see some kind of other catastrophe happen you know anything is possible it's kind of way to get on it and reflect on this again so on the week if we close a week below 51 cents I would say this point here if we close a week into 49 48 it looks like we we have a strong rejection here at the center of the channel those confirm this is a channel this was the retail and so we have a bit of a cup right here yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in this area if we come down to 53 and if we break four in past 48 and we close a week so on Sunday if we cl happen to close and we come out and break this supporting trend one of the first signs that would give us an indication that that could happen is failure to reach this guy up here so you yeah, know we've reached it a couple times if we don't reach it again <clears throat> excuse me and we break out of this and that's gonna be a, a good indicator to me even if we come down here and we're at 50 cents so if this takes a little while say we come out here say we come out and we so if we break over here say January January when we break then all we would need to break the supporting trend on XRP is a 52 cent XRP so I'm looking at this like as a really really positive thing if this happens again don't buy or sell anything just because we're talking about it here just looking at all possibilities and you know a lot of times it's what is accepted as truth by mainstream is lies you know the media the media the bank owns the media you know everything that we see and hear on the news everywhere you know is put there for a reason you know not going to go too much into depth on that but it's put there for a reason it definitely isn't to have us win so why would they sound the dinner alarm basically for everyone to get rich when they want your money it doesn't make sense so again just looking at watching these levels gonna be keeping an eye and see how the week closes we have some stuff that we are doing differently slightly differently our record keeping hasn't been on point what we're attempting to do and what we will do and we have done is be consistently profitable and then over the course of months showing profits and losses in a way that could be useful that people could learn from it because I think there's a high demand for transparency and truth so people can learn from it because one thing that we see and I hardly post we hardly post anything like a single trade anymore on social media because it's like a it's been like a disease in my you know my opinion it's uh, giving people a false reality recently had uh, contact with a guy and he was to take a look at Let's take a look at XRP BTC real quick. You know, there's a, of course, there's a chance that we could see the opposite happen. But, but um, we was talking. I, I had a friend, and he was just really into Instagram, and he he was he was listening to these guys that just have these crazy, crazy, crazy lies. And he's not into trading, and so he was just really really brainwashed and you really have to watch out for marketers that are traders in general quote unquote traders that are traders and you know marketers YouTube and stuff like that Facebook because they're uh, most, mo the majority of them 99.99.9999% .99 of them have learned to talk about trading and investing but they don't they don't have a clue when it comes down to 
how to do this and it is telling you like it is so you know if it's kind of like a sale a car salesman real slick real slick talker you know real positive high energy all this stuff that's why when i come on here we're not i'm not hyped up i'm not trying to hype anybody up at all because that's not what this business is about it's about keeping calm having cool calm emotions so we're at this support on xrp btc you know we'll see if we break down below it you know i'm kind of thinking more and more bearish but you know could be it could go the other way like i said we could see a break to the upside from here you can see we kind of had a rising channel right here but anyways you just gotta really be careful if someone's hyping you up trying to get you into something then like you gotta ask yourself the question like why are they why are they doing that you know the being emotional and excited and stuff like that about profits you know that's that's a major indicator that someone is not consistently profitable because if they're excited about their wins and they're only showing you wins then what are their losses look like you know i posted a video in our group and by the way if you're looking for a place to go and you don't really know where to go then we started a crypto group it's called market misfits i'll bring it over here real quick you're gonna see whether you see this on youtube or if you see it on facebook or wherever you see it we have a free group so this is where we're doing our testing we just started this so we're doing our testing and everything and gonna be sharing some of that stuff in here so this is the video that kind of reminded us you know hey this is what we're doing why we're doing it this is a great video if y'all want to check this out um i'll leave the i'll leave the i'll leave the the address down in the comments if you want to check this out if you're seeing this on youtube it's a great video you can tell this guy's a real trader you know and he kind of has the same he kind of has the same outlook you know as we do it's like it's this place is so ridden with lies and deception to try to get people to get in to things when you know um by hyping them up and stuff like that and that's something that we would like to see like that's taught us like how not to be once we understood what this is all about you're just you're you're playing numbers it's it's math you're using you're using numbers a system and you're you know just working the numbers so again that's why we are more focused on getting the profits and losses to show how it can work out when approaching this with a with a more mathematical and passive type style of trading so we're not scalping or anything like that but we are day trading but anyways when we get the profits and losses we're just having issues because everything hits on the trading view but when we go over to mt4 and not everything hits you know most things have been hitting on the trading view but when we go to mt4 it's it's jacked up so it's not it's basically it's hard to get it's hard to, it's been hard to get a sample marking up these cryptos on over here on trading view and getting them to translate correctly over to mt4 with the spread so we are trying a different broker and we are trying we are getting a different we're getting a different um we're going to be hooked up to F, my fx books doing this so and doing our markup for our setup that we're doing on xrp and we're just going to mark it up on trading view before we get in so anyways guys that's going to do it we had some current positions running let's take a look at them real quick and we'll get off of here didn't want to take a whole long time but i just kind of wanted to say what's up to everybody i hope that y'all had a great week so this was this is our xrp yeah, it came up to and actually this was this would have hit target i don't know how it got like that but uh so we're doing a one to 1.4 so i guess this was and again just having issues been having issues getting stuff to line up to translate over correctly so if we had entered here just for record record keeping purposes if we would have got in on the break here i don't like back testing it doesn't feel natural at all so testing has taken us a little bit longer and so anyways if we had entered on the break here then that would have been 
that so here was looking for a rejection like a double tap right here when we see this like this look for when it comes down here to go like this now that hasn't happened and so we are looking for more maybe now we're clearing out these lows right here but just keep it in mind this macro view too so you know if we had to trade this breakout right here I'm not sure if it hit over there I haven't looked at it yet but um let's take a look at Cardano we had a breakout here was looking for another rounding out you know still looking over the trades as we're going the positions as we're going wondering if we're going to be trading a full pattern instead of just trading a breakout or what so a lot of times this will this will do this if it doesn't come out and make an inverse head and shoulders or a double bottom then we will see basically the opposite right here boom a breakout and a double top kind of like this and then it'll go clear out some lows and then maybe consolidate a little bit more and then go up but as we've seen on the on the weekly as we saw on the weekly and the monthly time frames just looking at price action Cardano is looking bullish we just had this big spike here but you know we see a big drop in Bitcoin let's take a look monthly S strong engulfing on the monthly for Cardano had a strong week last week. Looks like we could be done with this. You know, we see a drop in Bitcoin. But again, just keeping this macro view of what's happening right here with this sideways consolidation. You know, the Bitcoin ETF stuff going on. Looks like we might not make it to the top of that trend. We could break down. But, anyways, let's take a look and see. Because we had dropped. A lunic in the telegram okay so here was a breakout right here on the hour so what we'd be looking for is a breakout from this right here a bullish breakout Again, not financial advice, but looking to see if we're going to get, because we're kind of clearing out these lows right here on Lunic. Also, we had Solana in a channel. If anybody caught this, you know, congratulations. I forgot to put parameters up on it. We didn't actually get in this. I had looked, and when it looked, it was clear up here. You know, we did get the test back down to the supporting trend down here. We said we I see a lot of stuff on here you know good learning tools you know because this setup is fairly excuse me it's a fairly simple setup actually it's, re it's a really simple setup but just getting all the different variations together and you know putting that in a way to where people will be able to learn from seeing what real profits and losses look like because you do get losses you know you might not you might not see people posting them but we're going to post them but we're going to post them with everything so y'all stick out around for that we're really excited about that hope that y'all had a great week if y'all have any questions or anything like that or if you want to get into our free group you know just to give us a holler we do have paid services available with more of what we're doing how we're doing it you know learning from the big from beginners to intermediate it's all there for you in a line so if you're seeing this and you want to come and check us out come and check us out we have a telegram channel and we have a free crypto signals group not so i hate to say signals but just trade ideas because it's obvious and we're not trying to fool anybody we're in here testing this stuff because we don't know we don't know the specific setup but we do know the process that you need to take the processes that you need to take to find a 
proven strategy or to create a proven strategy and the methodology behind it for taking profits and losses. And so, anyways, you guys, feel free to come and join us over here. We'll leave a link in the comments at market mis for market misfits. And that's going to do it for now, you guys. We will be hopping on, you know, if anything happens over the weekend. But if not, hope you all have a good weekend, and we will see you on Sunday. See ya.